campers. So this is a bit different. Breakfast buffet. Oh, I've told you when I can see a buffet. Had a timing issue, all right? I didn't have my golden frosted oat flakes this morning, so I had room for this. I can hear his belly rumbling from here. <laughs> All right, well, it's tricky doing it on your own, isn't it? That's what Marlon's for, isn't it? Come on, let's get you fed so you all stop complaining. Belle, you get cracking with the eggs. <laughs> See what I did there. Uh, Mand, you're on bacon and... Are there any questions? Where's Chos? Well, she knows where we are. Next. Well, um, she's gonna give it a miss. It's not for everybody, is it? I thought that was the whole point. Well, our Kane's not here, is he? Yeah, well, he does as he pleases. Chas is different. Well, Sam, leave it. Right, well, you lot enjoy your breakfast. I've got to get off to work. Already? Yeah. There's something I need to do first. <laughs> you know, I remember, right? It was when Marlon had first started cooking, right? He used to try all his recipes out on our butch. I remember. Yeah, right. anyway, right, he tells our butch, right, he's gonna make him the bestest carrot cake he's ever had. Yeah? Took him the whole day. And it, it was it was perfect until, right, our butch sneaks in and cuts down the middle, puts a raw eel <gasps> inside, the head was on, and everything. <laughs> Then Marlon tries to cut it, he saw it away. <laughs> it was so rubbery and it stank of fish. <laughs> Shut up, you lot. <laughs> Look at you, laughing and joking while Marlon's in hospital. Have some respect. How do you think he'd feel? Just grand, actually. I think this is exactly what he'd want. Yeah, family all back together again, making each other laugh. Getting through the hard times like we always have, but I did think some of us had forgotten. Not anymore, Belle. Last of the nuts. I'll go out the back to see if there's any more. Hang on a minute. Right, is this some kind of weird Jedi mind trick? Do I look like Yoda? Well, you've got the ears. <laughs> you just went into autopilot. <laughs> Oh, just come on, this proves. You've been banging your feet now for far too long. You just need to get back to where you belong. Excuse me, I've already got a job. Dishing kippers up for Pollard. No, it's, it's zero hassle and, and good hours. Seriously, babe, you know b and skivvy. You need to be here, keeping the punters in line. Keep going. Fine, what the hell? I admit, I can't do it without you. OK, it's, it's like... Pinky without Perky. Aunt without Deck. Eric without Brenda. Ernie. You've got Ryan. No, he'll be running the business side. I need you here at the coal face. Look, thanks. But you know, after everything, I, I think I better stick to kippers. Talking of which, three missed calls off the boss, the best skedaddle. <sighs> Just put me right off my nuts, is that? Well, I'm going home. Babe, all you have to say is one little word. Charity, this is us. A little word leads to a bigger word, which then leads to a bunch of rude words, and then, bam, no words. Let's just leave it, yeah? Just think, until Victoria is chained to that microwave, we just stick with buttons for now. Oh, hi. Any news? Nothing from Padster. Look about earlier. <gasps> Full on family harassment, not cool. Quite flattering, if I'm honest. Good. Good. Cos part of us only shelled out for this place to make you happy, babe. And yeah, OK, maybe at first I did lord it over me. I never. Wanted to do this gig alone. With only us, I meant. I just provide the glamour. <laughs> See? You were always going to be part of the plan. Yeah, well, my plan was to never let this place go. Which I suppose might be the reason I've been a bit... touchy. Stressed. Emotional. <sighs> OK, fine. What, you're begging? 
Yes, I'm begging. World first. Just please. Move back in. I'm not going to be living here. And I know, I know we fight sometimes, but come on, it's only like sisters. Please. I've missed you. What do you say? All right, love. I'll see you later. Bye. News? Yeah, Paddy said it's going to be a long slog. Doctors can't be sure how long it's going to take Marlon to recover. Yeah, well, he's still here. That's the main thing. Poor Rona. She'll be knackered, won't she? Yeah, we need to sort her out. Uh... Take it in turns to go bother him. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, family crisis, I, I get it, but, uh, uh, are you bobbing into work at all? Yeah, sorry, I did come in. I made up a couple of beds, but you weren't there. Didn't you get my message? Cash and carry? No. We'll write off today. But, uh, tomorrow, huh? Bright and early. Mm, mm, yeah, that, that was has been a bit of an issue. Don't tell me one more. Time off. It's a bit more than more. Yeah, look, there's no easy way to say this, but um, I'm leaving. I'm handing my notice. What? What? Well, it turns out I'm a bit more of a sadist than I thought I was. Meet your new old bar manager. Manager? Well, Max's done a run hour, hasn't he? You got a problem with that? None whatsoever. Boss. Well, let's keep it that way. Sister. Right then. Well, here's to our chas. And to Marlon. We're rooting for you, kid. To Marlon. 